Oh, it's too much. Uh, yes. This thing's great. It's got face detection. So the cannon, something or another. And, uh, do an inbox here. That's what I do when I'm alone. Inboxes. All right. First question is from Fragman, one of the uh, loyal and faithful members of our forum. Sorry if this is a completely noobish question, but what the hell is the point of these 6-core and soon 8-core processors? Spinal Tap answer, it's, it's one louder, it's two, two cores louder or four cores louder. That's, that's the point. It's, it's up. It's right warm. Down. Yeah. How are we supposed to assert superiority if we all stay at four cores, you know? Yes, there we go. Okay, next question is from some random dude 915. I was thinking of buying a Linksys E3000 wireless router. It's a nice router. What do you think about this router and its features? And if I'm playing an online game and my bro is surfing and watching videos on the net, will that slow down or lag my gameplay? And what place in the house is best to put the router so I can get full signal around the house? Here's a little blueprint of my house. So if I put this on the X, it's in my room, I got my computer in, or should I put it in the middle of the house, which is X2 or X3? I've got DSL, and my advertised speed is 6, six megabits a second. So will this router make the speed faster? Well, it's not going to make it any faster than 6 megabits a second, but uh, you know, for the rest of this question, I really need Kane. I have no idea where he is. I need to find Kane. Hold on a second. Kane! See, is he out here? Kane, where are you? What? What do you need? What? 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 How are you doing in here? What do you mean? What am I doing in here? You call right, me. I got a question for you. Oh, you got a question for me? Or yeah. Got? Right here, dude. See, take a look. Um, right, let's, let's, yeah, let's just show you what we got here. This is just, this is awesome, by the way. This ASCII house. Yeah. Dude, the bro. only thing this is missing, and I mean really, the only thing that I'm missing out of this is actual like distance and how big these things are supposed to be, because that changes. Yeah, we need like a little section over here that this says like legend, like one one inch equals five miles, which is a huge friggin' house. That'd you be know awesome. I mean. Anyway, so what we got? Um, well, uh, first off, uh, let's just start from one end and go backwards. Uh, advertise speed of six megabits per second. Will this router make your speed faster? No. That's like saying it's not like a car. You can get a bigger car and go faster on the highway that's speed limit 60. Slap the mouse. It looks stupid back there. Stop the mouse? Well, damn it. Anyway, um, no, bad. you're going to get six megabits per second. You're actually going to have some overhead because your network's always going to have some kind of overhead. So you're never going to get above that unless you're magic. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm playing online games, bro surfing, watching videos, yak, yak, yak. Um, will it slow down your connection? Possibly. Uh, it really depends on how what kind of videos he's watching, I mean, how much of the network he's snagging up. Yeah, don't forget, it's six megabits. This is not 20. And, and it's, yeah, it's six megabits. So, yeah, you know what? It's it's possible, especially if he does any kind of upload. If your speed, if you're if you're running with what I think you're running with, your upload speed is going to be a fraction of this, and yes, it's going to potentially slow down your, your gaming session. So, we have an answer to that, though. Um, and I believe the E3000 wireless router can do this, but I also have a possible other solution. If you... Take the E3000 and you swap it out for DDWRT, you have the ability to put QoS on, on the router and actually set up uh, quality of service, which is what QoS stands for, and give you, say, hey, uh, I want these packets coming from this machine to take priority over the video. So your computer is going to take priority over his, so he's going to have to wait a little longer to watch his video while you're just streaming the game like no Yeah, problem. videos are not as important as games. Anyway, so the E3000 is a nice router. The nice part about this router is that it's dual band, it's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. I, I mean, aside from being able to have the 5 gigahertz, might be able to penetrate some extra walls, which is the only reason why I would might recommend this one as a, you know, six and one and a half dozen the other over my recommendation would actually be the ASUS RTN16. I like that one. It's got 128 megs of RAM, which means it can actually do more at any given time. The QoS function I was talking about is going to work a little more efficiently because it's got more space and more, more room in the router to actually handle the, the decision to make all those kinds of packets. And it's got 32 megs of flash where the E3000 is only Yeah, that's my eight. favorite router on the market for around 100 bucks. Actually, I really want to get a hold of ASUS and ask them to make a, a, a black modification of the N16. We're going to call it like the, the N66 or something, and it's going to have uh, the same exact setup, except it's going to have the 5 gigahertz range, because the chip on there can handle that, uh, even though it doesn't have the circuitry for it, which is... Make me a bigger one. We can solder it together. 
We could. Just, yeah, send me the chips and I'll put it all on there myself. Or yeah. I'll make a new breadboard or something. Um, anyway, so to answer your question about where to place it in your house, you've got X, X2, and X3, and we've got these positions here. X, so I'm guessing, is in your room. X2 is across the house. X3 is kind of in the middle. Uh, you got to remember that no matter what you're looking at, the range on these devices, whether it be 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, is about 70 meters, uh, which is also about, what, about 220 feet, give or take? Um, well, 210 feet. Yeah, it, 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 it varies. Anyway, um, but you also have to look at what kind of what, you know, what kind of walls you have? What's the material between you and the router? Uh, X3 would be my recommendation of where to put it. Uh, you're going to have uh, full clean space. Everything in here is going to get covered. This space over here will get covered nicely. This room will get a nice chunk of signal. This one right here and yours here are probably going to be the least, but it's not going to have any real problem. You've got plenty of uh, you know it's right here next to the wall, so it'll bleed through here. This will be fine. Depending on what the distance is, you're looking at a 70 meter radius. So if you know this is this is your radius from here to wherever. So find out, you know, what distance across your house is, and uh, but this is where I would put it. Also, I want to add, put it up on a high shelf because the wireless signals descend. Yes. So you um, get a little bit more range if you put it higher, higher on a shelf. Yeah, that, and you're looking at, you know, what's all in the walls. Um, again, if this is a huge house, then I just want to rent your room over here. Um, but yeah, but yeah, you know, it's it's 70 meters is your distance, and I would put it right around X3. I'm just going to make sure i got everything here. Surfing web, blah, blah, blah. QoS. We'll make a video about QoS, I guarantee you. All right, I'll hold you to it. Yes, please. Push. Next question is, how exactly do you feel about the U.S. Internet infrastructure? It's uh, version one of the Internet. Uh, do you feel that it's inadequate? I wouldn't say it's inadequate. I would say it's uh, well used. <laughs> also, thoughts on 4G WiMAX becoming a more widespread option for users, even the ugly, wart-ridden, red-headed cousin of all things internet, satellite internet. Do you feel satellite internet will ever advance to provide a stable gaming connection and have lower latencies? Uh, lower latencies? No. Uh, satellite internet is exactly that. You are connecting your satellite dish to space. It's kind of a far, far way away. I mean, it's to, to space. you got a satellite. You're connected to the satellite. And if your satellite runs out of range or whatnot, uh, it can potentially give you some you know, again, it's not ever going to have lower latency. Um, as for a stable gaming connection, I think as long as you're willing to have that slow, low latency gaming connection, it'll be fine. I mean, I know I know some people who set up satellite internet down in the islands, Bahamas, that kind of area, and they have uh, they have voice over IP running off of those things. It's it's incredible. As far as 4G and WiMAX, uh, WiMAX has been around for a while, a long while. Uh, the 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 wide area wireless networkings have been around since 2000, I mean, early, early, early 2000s, if not even before that. And on an open commercial level, they've just been rather spendy. As far as, like, 4G versus WiMAX, so that's just, like, you know, Sprint versus Verizon versus AT&T slash T-Mobile. I'm not angry about that. Um, as far as the infrastructure, I mean, like I said, we're, we're using what I would like to call Internet version 1, maybe Internet version 2. I mean, we, we started, it got built, and everything kind of got built on top of each other. But there's a lot of redundancy built into the system. So let's say if... Uh, Chicago or Atlanta were to suddenly turn off. You have paths you can take out of Florida, out of New York. New York will go across Chicago over to San Francisco. Florida will go up to New York and across to San Francisco. Um, Atlanta and Dallas, I mean, th these connections are a little funky. It might take a little bit longer to get to some of these servers, but you'll be able to connect to anything. Uh, it's really just the fact that we're using wires that are 7,000 years old, and we're slowly getting new ones. I don't think it's adequate. I think it's just definitely in need of an upgrade. This is actually a follow-up to a previous question that we answered. Uh, this one is from Alex Rodriguez and he asks, do you install video drivers in Backtrack 4 RC2 and where can you download them? I haven't had any luck with any of those drivers. I also read somewhere that you can use video card to help crack the VPA2. As far as video drivers for Backtrack 4 RC2 is, I haven't looked at uh, Backtrack 4 RC2. I haven't actually used it yet, but from what I can tell, it is basically running on Ubuntu, or it's a, an Ubuntu install, so I'm guessing that any of your video card drivers that you could get for any other, you know, just your basic NVIDIA or you know, ATI video card drivers should work. It's just a Linux system. It's just got a specific set of packages for security and penetration. Stuff. Um, as far as some of that you can use, a video card to help crack WPA2, depending on what software you're using, you've either got Pirate, or you've got uh, Aircrack NG. Aircrack NG's got a CUDA patch that you can get and install. 
with Pirate. Pirate also has got a, a patch for CUDA. I don't think it's got support for ATI, but yeah, that's that. Anything else? Time for a coffee or a beer or both. Beer. Seriously, you need to send me more of these. I get questions all the time about this kind of stuff, and they're like, hey man, where's the best place to put my, you know, this is awesome. Send me this. This is this is what we're talking about. Send it to inbox and raise the little And we'll answer your questions about anything. I'm liking this zoom. Makes you feel like doing like a movie thing, you know, where you like zoom into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, this is sexy. Guy running there, about to, about to get eaten by a worm. It's about to stab him in the leg. There's that 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 monster thing. He's gonna come and try to eat him, but he's gonna get he's gonna get saved. <laughs>